Cheers, dear. Cheers, that was... All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're here today to talk about the Namiki Seven Gods. Yes. Hunting pens. The pens. We already talked about the ink last week, but now we're talking about the pens. Yes. Now this is a second release of sorts from the $48,000 set yes. that we had last fall. Um, so these are individual pens that you can buy separately um, in the Yukari style. So um, slight difference from the other one. They had like a, the a ring, ring top. top. Yeah. And these are just the normal Yukari style. So you can buy them separately or buy them as part of a set. And they have slightly different packaging too. Mm -hmm. So what so do you, you want to show? Do you want to cover the packaging first? Yeah, absolutely. And okay. we have some additional information about like what's on each pen and stuff like that. Absolutely. So we're just going to do It's not every day we get to play with a $4,800 pen. So we thought we would give it, each, a, give it a look. Each pen, one pen, comes in this box. Yes. <laughs> A sizable box. <laughs> got the, the serial number on the side. It's got this amazing wooden box. I don't know what type of wood this is. It looks to be some kind of walnut. That is the Japanese brochure. That oh. won't get you very far. I mean, <laughs> unless you speak Japanese, then it will get you very far. But it's also got one in English. Oh, I think this was this normally covers it too. We'd already taken it, that off. Yeah, that is normally wrapped in the thing. So um, it comes with this brochure, which oh, that I was can't in, handle with one hand. It was inside. <laughs> so anyway, so it's got the sailing ship as well as Mount Fuji there. Pilot or, origin, originates to the founder, which was a sailor. So um, hence the pilot. You're like piloting a ship. That's where the name comes from. Okay, so we take this off. We got all kinds of goodies inside here. Oh, this talks about the um, the, it talks about the, the wrap, the pen wrap, which and we'll get the, to. Yeah, it's got the card for the artisan that creates each pen. How to fill your pen in lots of languages. It's got yeah, a cloth. All kinds of stuff. Boom. So the pen would be would normally be in there. Right here. There you go. So it comes presented with a pen wrap, a bottle of ink, which each bottle of ink is named to match mm -hmm. each of the pens of the seven gods. These are the limited edition colors mm -hmm. that you and Drew went over last time. And it comes with this little hidden compartment, which with one of my favorite little hidden gems of the set, it's an ink cartridge case, which is pretty rad. It's got these magnetic, details. these little magnetic pieces that hold it right in there. And there too, again, on here you have the name of the pen and the limited edition number, so the mm -hmm. whole thing matches. Yeah. So it's a nice portable case, you know, you can just kind of throw it in your <laughs> bag and carry it around. No, okay. It's a beautiful presentation. <laughs> it's obviously meant to be like a displayed and, and, you know, very formal kind of presentation. So yes, the brochure gives you an overview of each of the seven pens, as mm -hmm. well as a uh, overview of who that God was and why um, certain the, things are on the pen. Yeah. So. Want to go over each one? Yeah, that's, I'd like to do that. Because we, we, we saw the set before, but we didn't have as much detail as what was in the brochure right. here. So we have a little bit of detail about your pen. We figured we'd show it up close. So let's go ahead and do and these that. These are medium only, correct? Uh, yes. Yeah, just just real quick um, before we get into each oh, yeah, thing, okay. just talk about the Namiki Yukari. Mm -hmm. I love this size. It's a, um, it's not, you know, the Emperor is massive and it's an awe oh, yeah. of beauty. That makes no sense. This is more of a, like, okay, this is the size I would normally hold of a pen. Yeah, it's a good, like, mid-range size that would accommodate someone of your hand size as well as someone of mine. The uh, filling mechanism. It's got a Con 70 converter inside. Con 70 converter. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's got a similar size uh, nib as to what you see on the Custom 74. Yes. Except it is 18 carats. Yeah. And it's, in, and it's a special nib engraved. It's got Mount Fuji on it. It says 100 to celebrate the 100th anniversary. Super special. Yeah. So, yes, I love I love the Ikari size. Yeah. All right. So, well, okay, we'll start with this one. <laughs> so the first one is Ibisu. This is the Japanese god of good luck. It's actually the only Japanese god out of the really? seven gods set. Yeah. Um, they're all gods from all over Asia. Um, so this is the god of happiness and prosperity, especially for businesses mm. uh, and fishing and crops originally, but now it's more just kind of general businesses. That makes sense why there's um, fish on it. Yeah, and it has a fuku zaza, which is a bamboo branch that's a lucky charm to help businesses thrive. Ah. So you may just hang on to this one. I, don't I know. like Might that. Need that one. Um, <laughs> and it's got a red snapper and a fishing rod to kind of allude mm -hmm. back to the fishing uh, nature uh, of the origin of the god. So obviously there's a matching ink with each of these. So this mm -hmm. is the light blue color. For a bisu. A bisu. I wonder how they chose the color of the ink to these things too. That, I don't know. I'm sure there's some meaning. <laughs> I like, and this one has some nice rotten details on the bottom there. I'm a sucker for rotten. Yeah. 
I mean, there's a too. lot of beautiful details going on um, with this. Yeah. Yep. Um, one thing I forgot to mention about the pens, they are a brass body mm -hmm. um, within all the, the lacquering and all the, the maquillé on top mm -hmm. um, using the Tokidashi Taka maquillé technique. Yes. Which so they do. have they have good weight to them with, with the brass body. Yeah, you normally don't see um, this kind of detail on, on a, a Yukari style. This is, this is more the detail you would see on an Emperor. That's part of why... Or a Yukari Royale. Yeah, this is part of why you have the higher price is because the amount of time that it takes to mm -hmm. do this level of craftsmanship. You can feel the texture and everything mm -hmm. there. The next one we have is, uh, let's see here, uh, Daikoku Ten. So this is after Mehesvara, the deity of Shiva in the Indian Hindu uh, belief. Uh, and it... it, it, it stems from uh, Ryobu Buddhism. Okay. I don't know all this intimately, but I'm reading the details. <laughs> uh, this is the god who took control of the earth uh, and agriculture for good fortune and wealth. So very There's, kind of earthy tone. You know, to it. I'm just realizing this is called the hmm. seven gods of good, good fortune. fortune. There's a theme of good fortune ah. through all of them. Yes. Um, but they all have different this kind sounds of sounds so obvious, and, but I'm just now putting yeah, pieces together. Exactly. Uh, Daikoku Ten is sitting on a straw rice bag, which is a large and has a large bag on his back mm -hmm. and a magic mallet in his hand. And there's also a mouse on the cap that's a lucky charm for the perpetuation of one's descendants. Okay. Not necessarily something that we as Americans would be like, oh, mouse, yeah, perpetuation of descendants. Got it. But it's these little hidden gems in there. You're like, and oh, okay, cool. And this is the matching yellow ink. Yeah. Next one we have is Bishamon 10. Um, which is also known as Tamon Ten. I really originally. like the cap of this one. Yeah, and this one looks really cool. So this is originally thought to be a war god by uh, samurai. Um, okay. And it's worshipped by those in need of an advantage in a competition of chance. So Those in need of, of an, an advantage. advantage in a competition of chance. Like okay. if you, uh, I don't know, want to win the lottery or something like that. It's like if you're playing Monopoly? <laughs> or Monopoly. Yeah, exactly. Good fortune. Uh, that would be the modern day equivalent. I don't think the samurai <laughs> were thinking much about board games. Um, but now it's more of a god of financial good fortune. Okay. Um, so they're uh, holding a trident and a stupa, which is known as a place of meditation. Okay. Um, and it's stomping on an evil demon. Yeah. It has a halo emanating from his head. So this one's a pretty, like, um, you know, pretty, it makes a substantial statement on this wow. pen. I love that cap. Yeah, That's it's really cool. And it's got some rodden in there. Really, mm -hmm. really uh, heavily themed on this and one. And this goes with the red. The red. The red ink. The deep red. That yeah. makes sense. Mm. Uh, next one we have is Benzai Ten. This is the only goddess yeah. in the collection, and this one is actually kind of secretly my favorite. I like I like the last one we have, but this one is really, it has the really good too. Rotten. It has the most rotten, exactly. <laughs> um, so, they know what the ladies like. Yeah, originally she was the god of goddess of water, arts, music, and language. Mm. Um, so she's holding a biwa, which is a traditional Japanese lute. Okay. Uh, and today she's known more as the god of wisdom. Uh, in the marriage bond. Okay. Um, and the rodden is a wave that's splashing, you know, kind of alluding to the original water. You know, she's got water music, all that kind of themed in there. So the most rodden in this one. And of course she has the pink coral color. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. exactly, exactly. That makes sense. The next one is Fuku Rokuju. Okay. And this is the incarnation of Southern Polar Stars. So this is a Chinese Taoist god and uh, the, the perpetuation of descendants, health, and longevity is his theme, um, also known as the god of personal virtue. Um, he's got a long head and a beard with long ear lobes. Yes. Um, I don't know all the substantial meaning of that, but I believe it is significant of some kind. Um, he also has a gem in his hand, which mm -hmm. is to signify uh, gratitude. Um, and he has a crane and turtle that's bringing a cane and a scroll, and that depicts the help of friends. Helping him out. So there you go. And this one comes with the green ink, I guess green for the turtle. Sure. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> All right, number six. Yes, this is Juro Jin. So this is the old man of the South Pole. Um, it's the patron god of wealth and longevity. Mm -hmm. um, he's smiling, holding a cane that has a scroll pinned to it. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got a peach patterned kimono accompanied by a deer, which are all symbols of long life. Yeah, the deer is very prominent on the cap there. Is, and he's yeah. got the, uh, the purple in the kimono matching the purple ink. Mm -hmm. Lots of gold dust sprinkled on this one. Oh yes. Love it. That's beautiful. 
All right, last but not least, we have Hotesan, and this is the incarnation of a Buddhist deity um, that was actually originated in the Chinese Tang Dynasty. Hmm. Uh, and it's the only monk among the seven gods. Okay, so they each has their own kind of flavor. Exactly. Um, and okay. this one is a symbol of matrimonial happiness, uh, in part riches, status, and prosperity. Hmm. So all good things that I would support. Um, and you can see he's among the Chinese mountains. Okay. Uh, and he's very happy. He's got a happy smile. Um, and he's got a what's called a canon bukuro on his shoulder, which is a patience bag. Uh, and that contains the treasures and blessings he bestows upon others. Wow. So, sort of like a Chinese Santa, if you will, I guess. And this has the, uh, it's it's like a green-black ink, right? Green yeah, black. this is actually the most compelling ink for me personally. Yeah. I like it. It's different it's than all black, the other. It's not black, it's not green. It's a green-black. It's a green-black. So there you have it. Each of the seven pens is available separately. Mm -hmm. um, we also will be making available, I believe, up to two sets. So if you want all seven in a matching number, um, we will have that for you. And I believe um, forthcoming soon is a like a wooden pen tray to we're display them all. Trying to we're acquire trying to some kind of wooden display. For but all otherwise, seven. you will literally get <coughs> seven, seven of these. So you'll have you know each of the seven inks, seven wraps, seven pens, seven boxes um so yeah the, that's the, these are the pens we're, we're honored to be able to have these Absolutely. to get to see them it's it's wonderful that they made these available individually apart from yes. the entire set um to get to make them more attainable each of them. There's, yeah you know the, the, if you've had your eye on something maquillage and you know the limited edition nature and really when it comes to maquillage it's about if the themes speak to you um, as far as, you know, if you find beauty in it or if there's meaning or some personal significance. Or if you just think it looks cool. Yes. <laughs> it's basically art on a pen. It really is. Um, but it's incredibly functional too. And they've been working for years. I mean, I think it was three years of development on these pens leading yeah. up to the 100th anniversary. Which is why so much of the other Maquillet is out of stock currently because they've, they've been working on, on this. Yeah. So there are 150 of each design worldwide, there which is go. not a lot. It's not a lot. If you want to learn more about all these pens, you can check out the product pages on our site. You can see more pictures and details um, of the pens that we kind of just talked about in written, written form. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and right, right on. on.